Hi there, and welcome back to the five books. Do you want to read books on Ukraine and its relationship with Russia? If so, this video is for you. Today we give you books to understand more Ukraine and its relation with Russia. Let's dive in. Book number one. Sketches from a Secret War by Timothy Snide. The book mines archive documents, many of which have only been available after the fall of communism. An epilogue ties his legacy to the Soviet Union's demise and the 2004 democratic revolution in Ukraine. It sheds new insight on the underpinnings of Soviet authority and the beliefs of those who opposed it. Book number two. Red Famine by Anne Applebaum. Today, Russia, the successor to the Soviet Union, has placed Ukrainian independence in its sights once more. Applebaum's compulsively readable narrative recalls one of the worst crimes of the 20th century and shows how it may foreshadow a new threat to the political order in the 21st. Book number three, Jews and Ukrainians in Russia's Literary Borderlands by Emilia Klausen, demonstrates how writers working in Russian, Ukrainian, and Yiddish during much of the 19th century and the early part of the 20th century were in constant dialogue with one another in this extremely innovative book, creating a complex picture of Jewish literature in the context of Eastern European and Russian culture. Book number four, Ukraine and Russia, by Paul Danieri. Delves at the internal dynamics of Ukraine, as well as those between Ukraine and Russia and Russia and the West, that arose with the fall of the Soviet Union and eventually led to war in 2014. Traces how Ukraine split from Russia in 1991, dubbed a peaceful divorce at the time, led to what many today refer to as a new Cold War. Book number 5. Everything Flows, by Vasily Grossman. Vasily Grossman's ultimate memorial, written after the Soviet authorities banned his masterpiece, Life and Fate, is Everything Flows. The fundamental plot is straightforward. Ivan Grigorievich gets liberated from Soviet camps after 30 years and must battle to find his place in an unfamiliar environment. Book number 6. Mesopotamia, by Serhii Zhidan. Ode to Kharkiv, Russian-speaking city in eastern Ukraine where he lives, he uses prose and poetry to confront the disappointment, ambiguities, and complexities that have distinguished Ukrainian life in the decades since the Soviet Union's demise. It paints a vivid picture of the lives of working-class Ukrainians who are battling an unforgiving fate. Book number 7. The House with the Stained Glass Window, by Zana Slonyovska. Generations of women from the same family living under one roof in the tumult of 20th century Lviv, each trying to find their way through decades of upheaval in an ever-shifting city. Show a city of marketplaces and monuments where history and the present mix, civilizations collide, and stories emerge from every nook and cranny. Book number 8. The Orphanage, a novel, by Serhii Zhidan. A city of marketplaces and monuments, streets and spires, where history and the present mix, civilizations collide, and stories emerge from every nook and cranny. This is a highly personal narrative of brutality, written with raw passion, that will be remembered as the quintessential novel of the Ukrainian war. Book number 9. Ukraine in Histories and Stories, by Volodymyr Yermolenko collection of texts by modern Ukrainian writers, historians, philosophers, political analysts, and opinion leaders on Ukraine's past or histories, as well as analyses of the present, conceptual concepts, and personal anecdotes. It give a multifaceted vision of Ukrainian memory and reality. Hope you liked our book's recommendation. Let us know in the comment, which of these books you want to read. Click on the link in the description to find the book you want. Do you know other books to read about Ukraine, and its relation with Russia? Let us know in the comments. We would love to know your book's recommendation. Hope you liked our video. Subscribe to receive our book's recommendations and tips. See you.